Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 23rd of the Leak Code Daily December Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, ah, best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like, well, I mean, obviously on Leak Code, there is like five or six variations of this thing. Uh, and I've done all of them in some number of ways. So I feel like I'm hitting a uh, fucking cock or something. So, uh, so let me know. How, uh, excuse me. Let me know what you think about this particular part. But the way that I always like to do it is, um, let's see what variation. So there's a cooldown, as many transactions as you want. Uh, you cannot buy the stock on the next day. Okay. And N is five thousand, so you could definitely, you know, be careful. But that's fine. But yeah. So. Uh, today I'm not gonna. I don't know. I I think all these, you know, like I said, uh, uh, it's always a little bit tricky how 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 elementary I want to do the explanation. But this one I'll start with assuming that you know what um you know what a suffix dynamic programming is. So in this case, we will start by yeah. There are only two things you can do. You could buy and sell, and of course you can only sell if you buy right? or if you own own the stock and. You can buy whenever you want if you don't want the stock, right? Because you can. Um, I believe that's the case. Yeah, because you've only been one transaction, so so these kind of create um, opposing states, or like not opposing, what's the word? Like uh, mutually exclusive states, right? So that's the thing. So here we can go. Okay, so let's just say um, you know best to buy or something. I don't know. Naming things is always hard, but and here we just keep track of the index or the index apparently. Um, and of course, if index is greater than n, then we we ran out of days, so that means that we returned zero because we're not, not making any money or you know or whatever. <clears throat> Otherwise, then we have two choices, right? We can do nothing today, so that means that you know best is you go to. Um, I guess you can always just not buy, so zero is a good default value um, and then or maybe I, I could just say uh, best not buying is you go to best to buy index plus one you know so then that means that we're maybe considering buying tomorrow we might not even buy tomorrow but we were only we're considering it so, but we're definitely skipping today is a point and then best buying is you go to best to sell maybe um, of index in this case just plus one right? because you can sell the next day okay yeah and then for this, we just want to return the max of best not buying and best of buying because whatever gets us, the better we sell. And of course, we have to implement the sell. And here, best to sell, we also have an index, right? If index is greater than n, then we return zero. Um, oh, I, I messed up something here. So if we do buy on this day, then we it costs money, right? So if we subtract it from price. Uh, sub index because that's how much we pay for it and in this case then here we can do something similar which is best not selling is you go to best to sell of index plus one same logic here that means that we're not selling today but we may sell tomorrow you never know but then the other thing is best selling is that we well that means that now we have an opportunity to buy again so now we go to best to buy but there is a cooldown right so the cooldown means that you cannot buy on index plus one you have to by the next day after that so it's index plus two okay so then now we return max of best not oh and here when we do sell we get we get you know we, we get money is the, the short answer so yeah uh, oops and then of course we start by best to buy on day zero um yeah so this looks good um the the problem is that without any uh you know well, the code as it is, is going to, you know, um, uh, uh, what you might call it, it's going to grow exponentially in the number of cores. It bifurcates every time you call it, right? It, it, it makes two cores, and then those things makes two cores, and, you know, next thing you know, you have a lot of cores. So, um, so the way that we, of course, get around that is by using memorization. The key observation, of course, is that um, noting that for this function, whenever you call it with the same parameter, you will get the same answer. And if, you, if it's deterministic, it's, you know, uh, there are no hidden things or whatever. Um, so yeah, 
so that means that we can memorize it. And that's basically the, the rest of what we're going to do. Um, we, I, the way that I call it is by calling cash. So has, uh, or has buy cash maybe, <laughs> get it cash. Um, maybe n plus one, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, and then buy cash is just to go to none times n plus one. And then here we can just check by if has buy cash of index, then return buy cash of index, okay? Otherwise, we set the, we update the index, and then we also just set it to true, and then just return it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, except for, of course, we have to do it for the cell as well. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do a little bit of copy-pasting. I'm really tired today for some reason. Eh. But I went to the gym, so that's my excuse. Uh, I, I actually did my squats today, and uh, finally, the first time in a long time, um, able to do that pain-free. So that's good. Uh, it, it sucks being old and getting injured all the time. So definitely, take, if, you, if you're younger, uh, on the younger side, definitely take care of yourself. All right, so that still looks good. We can probably try a big, you know, price thing just to kind of make sure, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to submit it. All right, looks good. 997 day streak. Um, that's all I have for today. Uh, let me know what you think. This Oh, yeah, this is going to be linear time, linear space, because, you know, we memorize everything and there's only linear amount of inputs uh pretty tired today sorry friends uh let me know what you think i'm gonna take a nap before the advent of code the advent of code has been just uh it's been very really fun uh eric has done a great job of you know this year for the most part but i am i am too old to kind of stay up in, until midnight so i'm just like really tired uh for it, it's been like a marathon of three weeks so uh, let me know if you're doing the advent of code and let me know what you think about uh this this uh, thing, I'll probably make a YouTube post about it at some point. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. That's all I have for today. I uh, hope you all have a happy re weekend if I don't see you. Um, and also, obviously, happy holiday weekend and you know, Christmas, Hanukkah. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Um, the thought is still there. I don't know. But yeah, stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.